Um, so let's do this one. It says calculate the amount of heat energy in kilojoules that is transferred when 300 grams of water is cooled from 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Is the energy being gained or lost by the system? Okay, so in this case, hopefully you guys notice that it's asking, or in the um, question, it's talking about the mass, okay? So you're looking, hopefully, thinking specific, specific heat capacity, right? So when you think that, right, you're going to think Q. Q equals mass times heat capacity times delta T. Okay, so what do we know? So Q is heat, right? That's what we're looking for. So we don't know that. Mass, do we know that? Yes. 350 grams. The heat capacity? Do we know that? Well, the heat capacity you have to be given. Okay, it's a number that's specific to the particular substance. Um, if it's water, it's actually 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay. And I like to write it out so we can cancel our units out eventually. And remember also delta T, right, that's a little equation in and of itself, right? It's Tf minus Ti. Do you guys remember that? So Tf minus Ti. So do we have Tf and Ti? So Tf is what? 3 degrees C. And Ti is 25 degrees C. So notice this is in degrees C, and this is in degrees C, so we don't have to convert our, our uh, temperature units. So here we're going to say, whoops, 3 degrees C minus 25 degrees C. That equals negative 22 degrees C. So now we have delta T, we have C, and we have M, right? And we're looking for Q, so all we do is plug each other. So Q equals M, which in this case is 350 grams times C, 4.18. Joules per one gram times degree C and delta T which is negative 22 degrees C. Um, so it's saying not in joules but in kilojoules, right? So why don't we just convert to kilojoules right now? So, so 1,000 joules per one kilojoule. So, let's cancel. Right, and we're left with kilojoules. Does everybody see that? So, 1,000, and this should be to two sig figs, is that right, everyone? Is that what you guys got? So I got negative 32 kilojoules is the heat transfer. Okay. So I guess then the second question is the energy being gained or lost by the system. What do you guys say? Lost. Why? Negative. How else could you know if you didn't know that? The temperature decreased, right? So since the temperature decreased, right, molecular motion decreased, so 
that means the energy of the molecules decreases. Is everybody okay with this problem? I have one question. Uh huh. What do you mean? Oh, no question? Okay. <laughs> okay. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, cool.